11 year old Adarian Murray called 911 for help last weekend when his mother's ex boyfriend showed up at the house. Instead, one of the responding officers shot him in the chest, even as his family says he was following the officer's orders. Now the boy is recovering, and many in the community want answers. Omar Villafranca has more. 11-year-old Adarian Murray still has bandages where he was shot in the chest Saturday by an Indianola, Mississippi police officer. He didn't know at the moment that he was shot. His mother, Nikayla Murray, remembers the chaos and confusion while holding her bleeding son. He was, he started singing gospel. He started praying. We started praying. We're very religious. Did you think your son was going to die? that moment, I didn't know. Murray says she asked her son to call 911 after an irate ex-boyfriend showed up to her house around 4 a.m. Saturday morning. When Indianola police arrived, family attorney Carlos Moore says officers banged on the door and told everyone to exit the house. As a Darian was following that order, he went out of his room and went towards the living room. As soon as he got in the living room, he got shot by that same officer that told him to come out. But he didn't have anything in his hands or armed or? Nothing, he had nothing. Moore and local media identified the man who shot Murray as Officer Greg Capers. He's currently on paid administrative leave pending an investigation. CBS News reached out to the Indianola Police Department, but they declined to comment. Calls to Capers were unsuccessful. <laughs> The Murray family staged a protest and sit-in at Indianola City Hall, demanding police release body cam footage of the incident. That's my child, y'all. The family deserves answers, and they deserve it sooner than later. You had an 11-year-old boy come within an inch of losing his life. For CBS Mornings, I'm Omar Villafranca in Indianola, Mississippi.